In the Resilience Center, we give treatments for the people from Sderot to take care of the trauma from the rocket that we have here for 20 years. It's much easier to talk about feelings and about things that happen to you through the animals. We have families, relationship between friends. We have death and newborns. We can see it all in the animals and you can talk about your feelings through the animals. Children sometimes say, I wasn't afraid from the alarm but the rabbit was afraid. People that suffer from trauma use that everybody is taking care of them. And here they have the opportunity to take care of the animals. And we see that it makes them feel really strong. They have some job now and they are responsible, so they can't be in an anxiety attack. First, we teach them how to feel it in their body, to realize that I'm in anxiety attack now. And then we teach them what can help them. We talk with children about their power, and each one has his power. Someone, it's his family, and someone, it's faith. The children need to learn himself and to know what helps him. Sderot is a really special city. When there is the alarm, one of the things that the people from Sderot doing, and remember, we have only 15 seconds. 15 seconds is nothing. It's to open the door. That if somebody will go on the street, they can come into the house and into the shelter. I think that you really need to believe living in Sderot. You need to see that it's something with meaning. Meaning gives you resilience. It's important to live here. It's important to make this place strong.